Hello, YouTube. This is another episode of Minecraft. And, uh, I just wanted to say first off that I had to make some modifications, minor modifications mainly, to the zombie spawner XP farm. It gets you experience, except it's kind of slow because just punching them. It'll be faster if we have potions, but besides the that's besides the point. So, I had to make this higher because the zombies were dying. But I'm pretty sure the zombies are ooh, still two hit kills without a sword or potions. But, whatever, we're almost up to 30 levels. And, yeah, just from, you know, sitting here. And, uh... Uh, in between episodes 13 and 14, I mentioned that, well, trying to find a, ah, another, for tro well, trying to find a skeleton spawner, I actually found some, I found an abandoned mineshaft, well, using my extra texture pack, I found a, uh, Abandoned my shaft, and I looted some of the chests, and I found some diamonds, which, by the way, I did not cheat in. I did not cheat. Okay. But, so, with those diamonds, I may just make a, uh... A, oh, sorry, losing my train of thought. Well, oh yeah, so I'm going to make another iron pickaxe, because my iron pickaxe broke already. Um, and then, oops, sorry about that. And then I'm going to make, oh wait, oh, I'm so dumb. One second, let me just think for a second. I'm going to make a diamond pickaxe, which I'm going to mine some obsidian with. Then I'm going to kill some cows, get some reeds or whatever sugar cane, and then I'm going to put it all together, make a book, and then an enchanting table, because I actually looted several chests in the abandoned mine shaft. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that and maybe enchant something, you know? Probably later though, because I don't really have something that I really feel like is worth enchanting yet. Maybe I'll just enchant my, uh, iron sword or something. I don't know. So, we're just really boring, pillaring up. We're close. We're here. Okay. Which way is the home? That's the squid farm in progress. Which I should really get to finishing sometime in the near future. Okay, so, um... Yeah. That's pretty much all that's to it, and... Dark flab, it's a thunderstorm. <sighs> Mobs don't burn stuff. And I don't know what I see. Sky, okay. Oh, crap. F3, there we go. I don't want. Actually, um, little fun fact you can actually sleep during a thunderstorm, a thunderstorm, no matter what the time of day is. Which is kind of interesting. And of course those zombies got into the water so they're not burning. Ah, swing my sword. Come on, there we go. Why aren't you swinging? Come on.
That was really weird. Okay. Need a new mouse. Either that or a new computer. Actually, you know, I don't really use a mouse. I use a touchpad. And that is really close to that sugar farm. Let's see. Oh. Decent. We don't really want to mess with him. I can, like, guide him over here. Before I try to engage him. There we go. Okay, so the episode this episode like I said, I'm going to be making an enchanting table. Also, no, I don't have enough iron to make an anvil. Definitely not. Uh, for that book I found in the chest of the second zombie spawner. Same with this horse armor I found in the second zombie spawner. Uh, so, I'm gonna craft up my own diamond pickaxe again. There we go. Oot. Diamonds. Diamonds are so beautiful. Uh, actually, they're kind of ugly looking, but you know. They're just like blue, weird shaped thingies that you find underground. You know. It's, whoa, that's a lot of sugar. We're only gonna need a few pieces for paper uh, and I'm pretty sure I don't have any leather already I found cows a uh, while back let me check for something I have coordinates uh, oh crap Negative 252. Whoa, that's a little long ways away. Maybe there are cows that are closer than that. Because, a uh, while back, actually, I did some exploring. It lasted several episodes. And as I found some interesting stuff, I marked my coordinates. I think that was the first episode I started cutting. Or... Yeah, but then I started doing the time lapse, which I think you guys like more than the cuts. I think. Oh, I just need some leather. Let's see if there are any cows out this way. No, no cows. I just really want some leather. Should have brought a compass. Oh, ah, sprint. There we go. My arrow keys weren't working there for a second. And yes, I do play with the arrow keys. It was just a stupid decision I made when I first started playing. Minecraft because I pl I started like two years ago or actually almost like a year and a half ago actually I started playing Minecraft and uh, when I first started playing I had never played a game well before I started playing I had act up to that point never played a game that used the controls W A S D and so I'm just like well this is really ah, more difficult for me. So I'm going to change it to the arrow keys. Horrible decision. Horrible decision. Do you know why it was a horrible decision? Mainly because if I use WASD, then all of the controls, like, you know, shift, squat, control to sprint, all of that stuff that's over there, it's like perfect to reach if you have your f fingers on WASD. 
and it's just more difficult. Another reason I use the arrow keys because, uh, for a laptop, I use the laptop, uh, the trackpad. Um, it's different, so I use the same hand to use my mouse and, um, uh, squat, cr crouch, yeah, crouch. I use the same hand to use my mouse and crouch. Which is usually what you can't do, because um, the mouse is usually off to the left, you no, know, right of your keyboard, and so um, yeah, it's usually off to the right of your keyboard, and so you can't use the same hand to do stuff that's on completely opposite sides of your keyboard. If you can actually understand what I'm saying. Probably just like. Gobbly goop. Or mumbo jumbo. Whatever I'm saying. Like. Probably makes no sense. Because I'm horrible at explaining things. I remember the cat. Actually you know what. I might as well just head over to the cow. Cordons I marked. Right there cows. What the. That sheep. That sheep. Just took the thumbnail for the video, and uh, I decided I'm using Fraps to do the screenshot screenshots, so I don't have to be like F2 and stuff. Ah, crap! I forgot that they split up like that. Sheep, that was a really bad idea. Just like walked right in front of my sword. Oh my gosh, full inventory. You know, I should be. I don't need zombie flesh. Who needs zombie flesh? Oh. <sighs> Starting it. When I first started watching people play Minecraft on YouTube, it always bothered me how they called it zombie flesh instead of rotten flesh, and now I'm doing it. Two leather. We need three leather. Just kill him because I don't have any wheat on me. Unless I do, I don't. And now. I really don't want to go over that mountain again. It's going to be incredibly difficult. Maybe I'll just go around it. That's a good idea. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Go around it. That's how life works. Okay. And yes. Okay, um back. I just traveled back to my base. At super at warp speed. If you get that reference, it's super fast. Okay, whatever. Now I have the paper and the leather to make a book. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, no. Oh, it's the other way around, isn't it? Uh, inventory. Okay. Gonna empty out the stuff that I currently don't need. Cobble, cobble, mossy, mossy. Sign, 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 sign. Uh, pretty much just clear all this out. Don't need this, this. What's gonna do? Keep this. Don't need this, 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 or this. But I will be needing this and this, and this, and a water bucket. For the obsidian, of course. Going to need to sleep. And then I'm going to head over to the... The zombie farm. Yes, of course. Of course, the first enchantment we make is going to be level 30. Because I forgot you need a crap ton of bookshelves for that. Um... 
which I'm probably gonna have to make a cow farm for, but, you know, that's later. Maybe this episode. Probably not. It's actually extremely highly unlikely, because I need more resources to make a cow farm. Because I don't flip and have any bows. Like, seriously. I don't have any string. Oops. I'm going too far. I don't have any string, and I don't have a skeleton farm, and I don't kill enough skeletons to get any string or bows. So, yeah, pretty much that's it. But you know what I could do? Instead of make a uh, skeleton spawner, I could actually make a mob trap that filters out skeletons and just kills the rest and so I could have a skeleton XP farm because you know skeletons are pretty much the best choice for an XP farm if you think about it because if I used creepers with the uh, mob trap then the creepers explode which is horrible and really sucks if they explode on you uh, zombies uh, they're kind of annoying. Uh, babies. Which I don't, I don't have a problem in this XP farm. And their drop is absolutely useless. For skeletons, they're all two blocks tall. And they drop bones, bows, and armor sometimes. Which is extremely useful because it can be made into bone, bone meal. You can use bows for dispensers and... You can use them as bows, or if you have too many of them, you can kind of just throw them away. But, you know, we're not going to do that. Um, and then armor, they drop like gold, or chainmail especially, can be extremely useful. So yeah, that's the benefits of having a skeleton spawner over a zombie or a creeper spawner. Well, you can't exactly have creeper spawners. And spiders, uh, they're just really hard to manage. Like... They're two blocks wide, and they can climb, and the, just the whole climbing thing, that is what breaks the, the spiders. And they're hard to contain, since they're only one block tall. Yeah, it's just horrid. You can still make spider XP farms. Like, you might want to if you have a, a double spawner, kind of like the zombies I have. Because, like, if you have two XP or two spawners right next to each other, you get double the mobs. You know, aka double the XP, which is always good, right? I need four, and I'll probably. Oh, wait, let me speed this up. I'm so dumb. You probably just saw that time lapse, right? Yeah, you saw it. I'm gonna put it in the video. But, guess what I forgot to do after that time lapse? I forgot to stinkin' hit record. Ugh. So yeah, I crafted up this. Then I went and grabbed some lapis, because you now need it to enchant stuff. And I enchanted my sword and my pickaxe. I got a pretty nice enchantment. If I do say so myself. And... Meh. Okay, so... The pickaxe is actually pretty funny, but tragic story. I... Uh... So, if you want a level 30 enchantment, then you're going to need three lapis in the enchanting table. But I accidentally only put one in it, and I did a level... One enchantment. Level 1 enchantment. I mean, ugh! And when I enchanted the sword, I realized that and put in... 3. Like that. See, look. You can do 3. Or I probably did like a level 6, maybe. Then look. Put in 1, 2, 3. See that? And I only put in 1 for the diamond pickaxe, and I clicked that. Efficiency, stinking 1. Let's see what else I could have gotten. I could have gotten efficiency. All of them are efficiency 1. 
Let's see this. Yep, all of them are just efficiency one, and I have no idea why I just enchanted a stone dragon pickaxe, but it's only three levels. It's only like, wait, how many levels was it? That was probably really dumb. Don't have another pick and see. It was, yeah, three levels. They're not important. Or maybe it was six levels. I don't know. But, <laughs> at least we have an efficiency stone pickaxe now. Okay, whatever. Uh, did the zombie just dropped a feather. No, there was a chicken in the system. I think... Oh my gosh, there was a chicken jockey! Oh, that's hilarious. There was... If you don't know what a chicken jockey is, it's pretty much a baby zombie riding a chicken. So hilarious looking. One must have fallen in the system. I don't, don't know exactly how it died, because chickens fall slowly. Okay. I'm going to... Go back up to the base. And, oh. Baby zombie dying. Yep. Okay, we're gonna see you back up at the base. Okay, you just saw me travel back to my base. Yes, you did. And I actually watched the moon go down for a little bit, because I thought it would look cool, maybe, in fast motion. And then a skeleton rudely interrupted me. You know, skeletons with jerks. Um, feels like pretty fast. Oh, and I have some gold to smelt them. Whoa, that's a lot more redstone than I thought I got from that. Okay. Oh, uh, you, pro you guys probably absolutely hate me for not organizing my chest better. But yes. Okay. Do I have how many bones do I have in total? Two. Can make six bone meal, guys. Do you know what this deserves? A test. Oh, wait, no. did I just? Oh. I'm going to test the nano farm. Oh yeah. It's gonna be great. So if I divide it. Three ways. Okay. I'm not sure if this test is actually gonna work, but okay, let's try it. Did I get one potato from that? That was absolutely angering. Okay. Let's see this. I forgot it doesn't work anymore. Okay, I'm going to need to fix this. Wait one second. Please don't say I broke something. Okay, let's just plop an item in this. Put one in there, right? Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh, I broke it. What a surprise. What a surprise. What a surprise. Dylan broke something. Does, does it still work? Oh, look, it actually works. Maybe I didn't break something. Okay, here we go. Woo! Well, it didn't actually do anything, and I wasted some bone meal. But who cares? Let's just say it worked. Because it, it, it did, air quote. Oh, look, okay. Start. Oh my gosh. Let me make a hopper. Do I have. Oh, there we go. Oopsies. Because I want to do something that is going to make my life easier. There we go. Just load everything I want to smell right into there. There we go. Now. What else should I do in this episode? Honestly, I have no idea. But... I could go cave-in. Or... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go cave-in. I don't need to. I'm gonna make a couple pickaxes. Or just one, probably, actually. Uh, 
Um, let me plop some of this stuff in the chest. I'm gonna... I'm going to use this and this for sometimes, but... Yes, okay. Ignore that. That's an alarm. Sorry about that. That's really unprofessional. Whatever. Just ignore it. Okay. Uh, it didn't happen, okay? So, I'm gonna go down here and... Well, so my mine is absolutely a mess. I started mining. I had this technique where I went to... I made this, like, grid kind of weird thing. And then I'm like, Crap, I'm not on level 12. That really sucks. So I went all the way down... To le level 12. Where the diamonds are, of course. Uh, this is level 12. And so, I'm like, let me start that technique again and it didn't last very long until i realized that technique really sucks and it's a horrible idea and i should never do it again but yes okay so this is one of the strips in my mind i just realized i missed a piece of iron while well back and actually this efficiency stone pickaxe was not such a horrible idea. It used like a couple experience, a couple like three experience, and it's faster. So whatever. I. And so I'm gonna strip mine a little bit. Well, the only thing about actually, I just realized an efficiency stone pickaxe. I'm gonna do actually three apart. I don't know why I changed my mind, but okay. Just going to do this for a little bit longer, and I will see you when I'm done. Okay, YouTube, I am back. Woo, back. And while I was mining, I just remembered of this glitch I found a while back that I think is kind of really weird. If you have a block in your inventory standing right up to a block like this, you click, it like goes there and then disappears, and then it uses up the block. But then if you go anywhere and just right click, it just like places itself. It's really weird. If you want to see it again, then look. Oh, didn't work that time. Okay, so look at the last slot in my hotbar. It's empty, right? Then... Magic. Actually, it's a bug, but... It's not that annoying. But, you know, it's... I got... Actually, not very much stuff. I got 11 iron, which I don't really think uh, caved very long at all. I only did like two strips. Yeah, two strips, which isn't very f far. Uh, I really don't know what to do with the rest of the episode. Uh, I think I might as well just uh, end it. Because, yeah. So, really, it was nice seeing you guys. It was really nice seeing you guys. And, well, pretty much all I have to say is... Hope you had a great time watching this episode. You probably didn't, but I hope you had a great time watching. And I will see all of you next time. Goodbye, YouTube.